Hello, beautiful beings. Welcome to my channel. My name is Yuri Choi. I'm a performance coach for entrepreneurs and high achievers. And if you are here right now, you're probably here because you want to show up better for your loved ones. You want to show love better for the people that you truly care about in your life. So first of all, in that, I just want to appreciate you for your willingness to become better because this is what it's all about. You know, it's not about being perfect, but it's always, you know, trying on different ways so that we can grow into the type of person that you want to become and your willingness to want to become a better person, your willingness to want to show up more powerfully for the people that you love in your life that itself is something that is super honorable. So I want to commend you in that. And then today what I wanted to do, by the way, you guys, if this is the first time that you are here, please feel free to subscribe. I would love to share more of these types of tips um, with you guys around mindset, how to become the best version of yourself, um, happiness, joy, confidence, all of that yummy stuff. So if you guys want to join me on this journey, feel free to um, you know subscribe. And today I wanted to introduce you to um, these four love mantras for yourself and your loved ones that you can try on today so that your presence gets to be more powerful, more loving, and more connecting for the people that you love in your life. So let's try this on. This is by a monk, Thich Nhat Han, and I might be saying that wrong, but he's somebody I actually admire greatly, and he is just this breathing energy of just compassion and absolute love. And because what I'm about to share is pretty sacred, if you are watching this, take a moment please with me to really get present to this moment, to the teachings of this special special human being. So let's take a deep inhale in and exhale out. I'm just really tapping into the moment, coming back to your body for a second. Another deep inhale in. And exhale everything out. And one more deep inhale in. And exhale everything out. Okay, you guys. So from this space, let's share these um, four different love mantras to bring more happiness and love with your loved ones and how you can show up more powerfully, more lovingly for the loved ones in your life. The first mantra is, darling, I am here for you. It's so simple, right? Darling, I am here for you. Really just that practice of offering your presence, your true presence, is a gift. And we often forget that. We often forget that just being next to someone, just being with someone, just offering your undivided attention and presence, that itself, is a huge gift, if not the best gift. So the first mantra that you get to try on, um, introduced by monk Thich Nhat Hanh, is, darling, I am here for you. So simple, so beautiful. The second mantra that you're, you're, uh, you can try on is, darling, I know that you're there for me. You know, sometimes we are so easy to show up for other people, but it has to be a mutual thing, right? We know what, what, how good it feels when we get to give a gift to somebody, you know, and this doesn't make an exception in the sense that if you're offering your gift of your presence, you also get to be in the space of receiving the other person's presence and acknowledge them for them being there for you. What a gift it is for someone to be acknowledged that way. And if you get to say, darling, I know you are there for me. So simple. Again, you know, so simple, so powerful. The third mantra that you get to try on is when your loved one is suffering. You get to say, darling, I know you suffer. That is why I'm here for you. Darling, I know you suffer. That is why I'm here for you. And, you know, oftentimes when we talk about positive mindset and all that, we're not talking about just ignoring what's going, not going well. Sometimes it is, it, it, it does take courage just to really acknowledge that there is suffering 
And that is actually a normal part of life as well. And for someone to give you that level of comfort, to say, darling, I know you suffer and I'm here for you, that gets to be a really beautiful gift that you can offer. The fourth is the hardest. And that is when you are suffering. Darling, I suffer. Please help me. Darling, I suffer. So please help me. Again, a part of human experience is that we get to acknowledge that there's going to be suffering. And a lot of times people feel alone when there's 7.5 billion people in the world. And people feel alone because they simply don't ask for help. They simply don't acknowledge that sometimes we want support and that's okay. That's okay. So those four mantras I want to share with you guys today, I hope you found that to be powerful. One is, darling, I am here for you. The second one is, darling, I know you are there for me. The third one is, darling, I know you suffer. That is why I'm here for you. And the fourth is, when you're suffering, darling, I suffer. Please help me. So what did you guys think? Did you find that to be helpful and powerful as much as I found it to be helpful and powerful the first time I came across it? I actually came across this um, watching um, him get interviewed by Oprah and I just remember just watching this and just being in complete state of acceptance and feeling just really connected just by saying these out loud and hearing him say this. So I just want to share that with you guys. It's something that I think about often. And this is a great mantra or a set of mantras that you can tap into at any time so that you can really harness that mindset of wanting to really powerfully show up and allowing people to show up for you in your life. And that way you can start to create this intimacy in your life, create this connection in your life. So anyways, I hope that was helpful, you guys. If, again, you haven't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe. Would love to stay connected here with you guys. Sending you lots of love. Bye, y'all.